the best ISO builds in NBA 2K21. Some builds that get 90 plus badges total. Builds that can snatch ankles with ease. Builds that can posterize defenders at will. Builds that can literally shoot heavily contested greens while also being able to put any other build in a box and fade from literally half court. These builds get some of the craziest attributes in the game. These ISO builds are game breaking in NBA 2K21. What is good YouTube? It's your boy Henry aka HDF and I'm back at it with yet another banger man. Today I'm going to be providing you guys with the three best isolation builds in the game. One of these builds gets a lot of badges, one of these builds is 6-8, the other two are 6-7. There's a lot of different options for you guys and the first build I show in this video is my build that I use. So make sure you guys drop a like on this video if this video helps you out at all. 5k likes. I'll drop my jump shot, y'all. So make sure to like up the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'm just trying to hit 400K, y'all. I'm not going to lie. So comment down below 400K right after you subscribe. So hit that subscribe button and then comment 400K so I can see who my new subscribers are. And I'm not going to lie. I've been having a lot of fun on 2K21 Next Gen. They actually just dropped a patch on Xbox fixing a lot of things like the mama badge, the choppiness on the twos um some of the physical attributes too so 2k is really just starting to throw some w's at us they're fixing a lot of stuff they're adding a lot of stuff so hopefully we can continue with that but anyways let's jump straight into the build creator now today i am bringing you the three most broken builds in nba 2k21 these builds i'm talking about they get some of them get 90 plus badges six seven six eight can shoot from half court break ankles every possession and get contact dunks after contact dunks now i'm gonna say a couple things before i get into this video number one whatever build you decide to make if you're gonna play twos and your build is not six seven to six nine and it's not a power forward it's automatically an l build i don't care what your stats are i don't care what your badges are you can disagree with me or not it doesn't matter you need to be six nine or 6-7 or 6-8 and if it's not a power forward it's not going to get nearly as many badges as a power forward would get number two a lot of people are complaining about this game about how they can't stop contact dunks they can't stop this they can't stop that well i have a lot of solutions to stop these contact dunks and a lot of them are within the build creator that we're going to talk about we're going to be talking about interior defense we're going to be talking about how to stop the contact dunks and what to upgrade and what not to upgrade number three why listen to me well a lot of these 2k youtubers they're not going to show their 2k card they're not going to show their win percent they're not going to show their record i'm gonna show mine on the screen right now i got this game about a week ago i have 500 park games played i have a 90 win percent on this game i also have shooting 71 percent from the three-point line so obviously i'm having a lot of success with this game and the first build i show out of the three builds i'll be showing in this video is going to be the build i have the build that i use to get this 90 win percent I'm also going to be showing gameplay after I show you guys how to make these three best ISO builds. That is going to back up why these are the best builds in the game. And then I'm going to be showing what badges to put on because a lot of y'all can't play defense. Y'all can't shoot. Y'all can't do one of these other things. So I'm going to show you exactly what badges to put on so you can play the best to your abilities. But anyways, let's go ahead and start with the build that I use. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do now... I use this build as a guard, but it doesn't matter. You always go with a power forward. I don't care if you're trying to be a center. I don't care if you're trying to run the one, the two, the three, the four, the five. The power forward is the best position no matter what build you're trying to make. Because for some reason, this build creator is just broken and power forwards get way more badges. It's not even close. I'm going to go left-handed. Y'all already know I'm going number one for D-Rose. And let's go on with it now height the first one i'm gonna make is the one that i have so i'm gonna go six seven two we're gonna go minimum weight we can go up a pound it's not gonna do anything except increase our strength it's not gonna decrease anything so may as well go 211 pounds now wingspan this is when it gets a little interesting now if you guys didn't know once you have a 94 three-pointer you unlock hall of fame deep threes so i'm gonna go down to a 611 wingspan unlock that 93 pointer which means at 99 overall i will have a 94 three pointer and a 99 mid range 
which means I will unlock Hall of Fame deep threes. I still get a high driving dunk, high defensive stats, and it doesn't really affect my speed at all with uh, the wingspan. So 6'11", I'm gonna go compact. I always go compact. We're gonna go ahead and continue. Now there's a lot of things that I upgrade certainly, and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly why I upgrade these things, okay? So the first thing is driving. Now I wanna make sure I have my badges spread out. We're gonna get badges everywhere. So I'm gonna max my driving dunk to a 94 at 99, it's gonna be 98. Max my driving layup. We're actually gonna put it down to a 93 just to get some more badge points spread out. Now we're gonna not touch driving again for now, but we're gonna go back to it in a second. Next, we're gonna max out our three pointer, max out our mid range. Now I'm gonna have a lot of shooting badges on this build. This is gonna be a glitchy build. So we're gonna go ahead and max the free throw. Look at, I can get 30 shooting badges, 30. Are we kidding? I'm gonna put it down until I get 28 because I did test the build and I don't really need more than 28 shooting badges. At that point, it's like, what am I even putting on at this point? But there's a lot of good shooting badges in this game. I have this build maxed out already and trust me, I use all 28 shooting badges. It is so useful. Next, we're gonna go to the ball handle, max the ball handle. I'll be able to speed boost at 99 or actually like 97 actually. But you don't even need a speed boost in this game, I'm not gonna lie. Speed, as long as your speed with ball is max, you're fine. Then we're gonna upgrade our pass accuracy to a 70. Now, if you want to, as you can see, I don't get floor journal. If you wanna put it to a 71 and get floor journal, you can do that. But I'm gonna put it to a 70, because I'm gonna be honest with you. If one of my teammates really needs floor general, even with even despite their high three-pointer, because every build gets a high three-pointer, then I'm probably not even gonna play with them if they're that bad at you know shooting the ball. They really need floor general. So I didn't even get that badge because I just wanted to save them my points. So we get 20 play, making 28 shooting. Then I'm gonna go ahead and max my defensive rebound. I'm gonna get a 95 defensive rebound at 99 overall. I'm gonna put my offensive rebound to an 81, or actually an 82, I'm gonna max it out. My block is gonna go to an 84, max that out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and max my perimeter defense. We're actually gonna put it to a 94. And then I'm gonna put my interior defense to a 35, and that's gonna give me 18 defensive badges. Now, as you can see, we're, we haven't even touched the physical. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna max speed acceleration. We're gonna also max stamina, the vertical, all the way to an 86. And we're not gonna touch strength yet. So that's pretty good so far. The physicals are looking fine. You don't need a max vertical, but 86 is really nice. You just need a 70 vertical for the contact dunks. But look, we're only a 94 overall, so what do we upgrade? If we max close shot, we only get five driving badges. So what we're gonna do is max standing dunk and get 11. And we can actually put it to a 70 and still get um, standing dunk, or I mean 11 driving badges. The only thing we can upgrade is strength and we're gonna put it to a 28. And there we go, we have our build. This badge layout is ridiculous. There's not a lot of good driving badges in this game in my opinion. So that's why I only have 11. I'm gonna use Hall of Fame post riser, a couple other badges, but look at 28 shooting. 20 playmaking, 18 defense. Now, if you were questioning the interior def defense or the steal, I'm gonna show you gameplay at the end of this video explaining why interior defense isn't as important as it is. And actually, I'm gonna put on the screen why it's not. Mike Wang, Baluba, a guy who develops the game, he literally creates the game, okay? He confirmed, and so did 2K Labs, that interior defense actually does not help your shot contest in the paint. I know that sounds crazy, but it doesn't. The things that affect it is block. Another thing that actually helps is strength. Now, I don't have strength on this build, but trust me, my block being at an 88 at 99 overall is just enough to get really good contests. Not only that, my high rebounding helps out a lot on this build. I'd be horsing people with this build. Anytime my center shoots the ball, I get the rebound. I'm very fast with my speed with ball, ball handle. I also get Hall of Fame quick first step. Um, I get bullet passer, which is very important. I get bailout. I get Hall of Fame handles for days, unpluckable, all that stuff. I also get Hall of Fame hot shot blinders and deep threes at 99 overall. So that's literally perfect. My perimeter defense is amazing. My physicals are amazing. It says I have 85 speed, trust me. That might seem slow, but it's not slow. I'm fast as heck. I'm gonna get gym rat soon too. So I'll have an 89 speed at that point. Obviously my shooting is amazing. I can shoot from half court, 99 mid range, 94 three pointer. I can also fade very consistently. I get hall of fame difficult shots. My driving, I dunk on everybody. I have a 70 freaking five standing dunk as a 
basically, I mean, I am a power forward, but I consider this build a guard. 98 driving dunk, 97 driving layup at 99. And yeah, I'm gonna show more of the badges at the end of the video. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead, do this. The bad, the badges I picked, the best uh, sharp badges, shot precision. I also did ankle breaker shots. We're gonna go ahead and finish this off. And this is going to be the scoring machine. This is the build that I use. And it's compared to Zion, Jason Tatum, Pascal Siakam. This is the build that got me to a 91%. This is the build that I'm shooting 71% from the three-point line in the park with. I'm going to show two other ISO builds for you guys, and then I'm going to show gameplay and the best badges to use. Now, this second build is going to be... A and all these builds are going to be power forwards, okay? Power forwards is the best position. It gives you the most badges. Now, this build is going to be 6'8". This build also gets 90. Yes, 90. The last build got 77 badges. This build gets 90 badges, okay? You're going to go 211 pounds. And we're actually going to go max wingspan, 7'6 wingspan. I go compact every single time. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have a 7'6 wingspan on this player. This is going to be ridiculous. Now, this build is going to be more of a defensive playmaking build with less shooting badges and less driving badges. But this is just one of those builds where if you want, if you think you can shoot with low shooting badges and a lower three-pointer, then this is going to be a great build for you, okay? Now, the first thing you're going to do is max your driving dunk. Yep, you're going to have a 99 dunk on this build. Go ahead and put your standing dunk to an 81. An 85 standing dunk at 99. Oh my gosh. On a basically a guard. And then we have an 81 driving layup. That's gonna give us 11 driving badges again. Then you're gonna max your three-pointer. Put your mid-range to an 82 and put your free throw to a 64. Now you're probably wondering, okay, why did you upgrade your free throw a little bit, but you didn't max your mid-range? This is just to give me as many badge um, points to put other places, and we're going to get 12 shooting badges on this build. Now, once again, that's pretty low compared to other builds. You're going to be able to shoot just fine with it. You're still going to be able to shoot from half court, but you're going to have a lot of shooting badges that don't go to Hall of Fame. They're going to go to gold, but once again, we're sacrificing so we can be 6'8". We can have that 7'6 wingspan, and we're also going to get 90 badges, okay? Ball handle, you're going to max it out. Pass accuracy, you're going to max it out. And speed with ball, you're going to max it out. We're going to have 27 playmaking badges. And by the way, you're probably like, oh, this build doesn't get an 86 ball control. You're right. But at 80 ball handle, you can curry slide. And you're also going to have an 83 speed with ball. So you actually are going to be able to do everything in the game that you're going to need to. This build is going to be able to speed boost. Even though it doesn't have the 86 ball control, trust me, the combination between the speed, speed with ball, and the ball handle, it will be able to speed boost. Now on the defensive side, we're going to max the defense rebound, max the offense rebound, max the block. The steal is going to go to a 70. The perimeter defense is going to be maxed out, and there's going to be no interior defense again. Now, some of you guys are going to be, oh, no interior defense. Trust me, bro. You don't need interior defense as a guard, especially when your block is this high. I mean, we're going to have a 99 block at 99 on a guard, okay? And we actually get steal on this build. So we get interceptor and we get pickpocket. Now, I don't, there's not a lot of builds that get that because steal is such an attribute that's bad to upgrade because it takes away some, from so many other things. But with this build, we can do that. And we also get literally 27 defensive badges are, are we kidding and you might think okay there's no way he's gonna be able to upgrade the physicals with 90 badges yes max the speed max the acceleration max the stamina and we can also put our vertical up to an 82 and then we still have a little left over so we're just gonna put our steel to a 72 and boom 90 badges Oh my gosh, the defense on this build is going to be absolutely insane. We're going to have 99 rebounding, 99 block. You could even run this build at the 2, um, but this build is supposed to... I mean, this is one of the best ISO builds in the game, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Then takeovers, you can really go with anything. I would go per with precision. You can also go with playmaking takeovers. Um, if I were to go with a uh, takeover one, I would probably go uh, team badge boost. That would be kind of overpowered, but I'm going to go with extreme clamps. Go with that, and this build is going to go ahead and be a post playmaker compared to Giannis, Anthony Davis, and Chris Webber. This build is ridiculous, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. This build is very glitchy. If you don't, if you want to be taller than 6'7", if you want a crazy wingspan, with a lower three-pointer to get the higher defensive badges and playmaking badges, this is the build to go with. Now on to the last and final build. Now, of course, we're going with a power forward again. I told y'all, these are all going to be power forwards, the best ISO builds in the game. This one, this time, is going to be 6'7". Weight still going to 11. 
but the wingspan. Now remember our last 6'7 was 6'11 wingspan because we wanted that 94 three-pointer so we can get Hall of Fame D3s and we wanted a high three-pointer. Now this build's going to be a little different. Instead of going 6'11 wingspan, we're not going to care about our three-pointer and we're going to max the wingspan to 7'4. So if you don't, if you wanted the max wingspan on the first build, this is the build you're going to go with. We're going to go with compact, go ahead and go through. Now this build is going to go ahead and get 84 badges so that's seven more badges than the first build and six less than the second now we're gonna max the driving lamp we're gonna max the driving dunk we're gonna max the standing dunk and we're gonna go ahead for more badges we're gonna upgrade the post control to a 44 which is gonna give us 16 driving badges max the mid-range max the three-pointer put the free throw up to a 72 to give us that 20 shooting badges Max the ball handle, max the speed ball. We will be able to speed boost with this build. Go to 85 pack at pass accuracy, and we're gonna go ahead and get 25 playmaking badges. And we also get Hall of Fame bullet passer on this build, which is a huge W. Then we're gonna max the defensive rebound, max the offensive rebound to an 85, max the block to a 93, max the perimeter defense to a 95, and we're gonna get 23 defensive badges. Still by maxing the steel acceleration, um, vertical is going to be a 70, and the stamina is going to go to a ooh, 84. Okay, so we're going to actually put the defense around down to a 94, and then we're going to get our stamina up to a 90. Now, this build is godlike. We get tw almost 20 plus badges in every category. It gets 84 badges now. The only difference between this one and the first one is this gets more driving a little more defense, a little more playmaking, but eight less shooting, and the three-pointer goes down six. That's the biggest difference in this one. It still has the same physicals, a little less ball handle, basically the same defense and the same driving though so we're gonna go ahead i would to be honest with this one i would go with spot up precision maybe even a slashing one we can go with finishing moves go ahead and make the build and this is going to be the offensive threat build a six foot seven offensive threat compared to jason tatum john collins and pascal siakam now to be honest y'all those are the three best iso builds if you want to go with a six seven if you want a higher three-pointer go with the first one if you want to get a higher wingspan and a lower three-pointer with more defensive and playmaking badges and driving badges, go with the third one. Now, if you want to be 6'8", huge wingspan, and you want a lot of defense, a lot of playmaking, sacrifice the shooting, then go with the second build. Anyways, let's get into some gameplay of the first build and show you why the build is so overpowered. And then we're going to go in to get some badges. Okay, so I'm going to go through each of the badges step by step while showing gameplay. First, we're going to do the playmaking badges. And on the screen, as you can see, I'm breaking so many ankles, bro. Like, I'm literally breaking dudes down. And I'm going to be showing the badges in the corner of the screen. I run gold ankle breakers to break all these ankles. Silver bailout so I can pass all of the passes. I found that silver is the best to use that at. Uh, gold bullet passer, very important badge. I can't get it on Hall of Fame on my build. But yeah, this is the first build, by the way, in the video that I showed. This is the first build. This is the build that I'm using. Uh, Hall of Fame handles for days. Hall of Fame unpluggable. Hall of Fame quick first step. Three of the most. Those are all on Hall of Fame because those are the three of the most important badges. But look at me, bro. Breaking dude's ankles like it's easy. This build goes crazy, bro. You don't need space creator. Floors are on dimer. Uh, you don't really need to use those. I mean, I don't really think your big man really needs them he probably has an 89 you know 85 even maybe a 93 pointer you know what i'm saying but you could put it on special delivery is also a decent badge but i do not use that but just look at the gameplay bro we literally going crazy with just gold ankle breaker that's it next we have the driving badges now i only get 11 driving badges i use hall of fame post riser um i use gold slithery finisher i get a lot of contact dunks even al you contact dunks as you can see I don't even need acrobatic to see. I just did a reverse layup. And I also use Hall of Fame Heat Seeker. Basically what that does, it's like Hall of Fame Hot Shot. Every time I dunk the ball, I get hella takeover. I, a lot of the clips in here, I didn't wasn't using that, but I started using it. I've been getting takeover 10 times faster. Definitely use that badge. The most important badge is Hall of Fame Posterizer. I mean, just look at me, bro. I'm literally disrespected, dude, so bad. Literally walking over them, stepping over them on some Allen Iverson stuff. I mean, look at that. That's so disrespectful with the 11 driving badges that's really all you need i'm not gonna lie to you now the shooting badges we get a lot of shooting badges 28 shooting badges we be shooting heavily so i mean 
Look at what I'm shooting. I'm literally falling back because it was that big of a test. I can shoot fades. I can do everything. So we use Hall of Fame Hot Shot so we can get takeover fast after each shot. Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter. I have all my hot zones around the three point line. Hall of Fame Deep Threes. We can shoot from the half court line. Hall of Fame Blinders. So if people are on my side, I can shoot it and it won't even be a contest. That's probably the best shooting badge in the game. I'm not going to lie. Hall of Fame Difficult Shots so I can fade. I have a 99 mid range too. So that co comes in handy with the fading. Gold Stop and Pop is like the new badge where, like, if you quick stop and then shoot, that, you know, gives you a boost um, after a quick stop. And then, of course, Hall of Fame Green Machine. Now, you could even use Catch and Shoot, Clutch Shooter, maybe Tyler Shooter, or Volume Shooter. But these are the badges I go crazy with. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have a hard time contesting me. I be greeting in people's faces. I be fading. I be doing it all, and I shoot fine. Last but not least, defense. The most important thing, what everybody has been struggling with in NBA 2A21 Next Gen. Now, I run a lot of badges that protect the paint and also stop people from getting into the paint. Hall of Fame Clamps, one of the most important badges. I bump people before they can get to the paint. Hall of Fame Chase Down, so if I'm not on their hip, I can get behind them and chase down the block. Hall of Fame Rim Protector, so if I do block them, I get a lot of takeover. And you want to have these defensive badges, especially interior defensive badges. Goal Rebound Chaser, because every single time my center shoots the ball, I'm trying to get that board. I have a 92 defensive rebound, like an 80-something offensive rebound. And also, I have Gold Intimidator. I can't get Intimidator on Hall of Fame, but I get it on Gold, which is good enough. You could also run pick dodger uh maybe tireless defender but not a lot of people use screens in this game a lot of people are icing but anyways those are the defensive badges i use i have a lot of success with these defensive badges in 2k21 and yeah all right guys so hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot these are the three best iso builds in the game in my opinion so drop a like on the video right now if i helped you at any point in this video make sure to subscribe to this channel if you guys are new we are on the road to 400k subscribers once you subscribe comment 400k in the comment section and by the way if you have any questions about any of these builds any of these badges any of the gameplay feel free to dm me on twitter the link will be in the description my at is double h underscore yt on twitter but yeah guys that's gonna be all for today it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and i'm out y'all